Hi, welcome to Learn JMeter series. In this season 1 episode 10, we are going to learn about HTTP authorization manager. HTTP authorization manager is a sampler uh, under the config element which will help you to specify one or more user logins for the web pages that has the restricted uh, using the server authentication. For example, you have a website uh, and you are trying to access some resources for example uh, downloading a document or uh, downloading an image file or some page right so that particular uh, page or the uh, resource has the uh, server authentication so whenever you're trying to access directly uh, by the url the server will expect you to uh, pass along the uh, user credentials so basically it will prompt you to uh, enter the uh, username and password in the dialog box So whenever you face uh, this kind of scenarios while uh, trying to automate or doing a performance test you can uh, leverage the authorization manager and you have to uh, mention the url pattern uh, you can specify one or more logins and you have to mention the username password and uh, domain realm at all uh, then you will be able to uh, send along your uh, credentials whenever uh, you are accessing the uh, particular resource so this will be very helpful uh, because uh, as you know jmeter is not a browser uh, you cannot interact uh, directly with the application so this authorization manager will help you to uh, pass along your credentials so sometimes this information will appear in the uh, view results tree under the http uh, request address but sometimes it, it it may not appear so now uh, let us see with uh, sample app and a demo in jmeter So for the demonstration purpose uh, I have this application uh, under glitch so I can uh, uh, share this URL with you guys in the uh, YouTube uh, description so it's under uh, glitch you can access this uh, resource so whenever you're trying to access uh, this uh, glitch uh, it will prompt you to uh, enter some uh, credentials so right now uh, it is trying to uh, access the resource because uh, it 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 sleeps it is go to sleep uh, if it, the particular url is inactive for a certain time so now as you see in the screen uh, it is prompting me to enter the uh, username and password so what i am going to do is i am going to enter the username and the password and click on okay so only after entering the username and password i am able to access this app so if i am not passing the credentials then i am will not be able to access it so how do we automate how do we uh, test this application in jmeter so that is where we are going to leverage the http authorization manager so this is uh, jmeter 5.3 what i am going to do is i am going to add a third group just to uh, get started yeah, as you know this is the one of the uh, must have element you need to add and i am going to add a sampler http uh, request and in the server i am going to enter my the app name app url and the uh, protocol is https and the method is uh, get so here we have to pass the uh, credentials so to pass the credentials what i am going to do is i am going to add a http uh, authorization uh, manager uh, you can find it Uh, find that element in the uh, config element http authorization manager so this has around 6 uh, columns uh, but uh, domain and realm uh, those are optional so only the uh, important stuff you have to enter is the base url so this base url uh, you can enter multiple base urls if there is a duplicate it will uh, avoid the duplicates but uh, the base url pattern if it is matching then jmeter will utilize the uh, username and password and other uh, details if there is no match then uh, it will not uh, share the uh, username and password in the request so this is my uh, username for this uh, base url and the password and i am not going to enter domain or realm or a mechanism so mechanism let it be a basic uh, we will be seeing what information it's being sent in the uh, view results tree so so these are the settings you have to take care uh, only uh, important stuff is base url username and password 
and here if you want to clear the auth on each iteration you can uh, do it by checking this uh, options uh, checkbox and now let us add a, a listener view results tree and let us uh, save auth demo and let us execute uh, just one thread uh, one loop count and one ramp up uh, period so as you know uh, the authorization manager uh, sending along the user credentials in the request which you can see it under request request headers so if you see uh, in the request headers uh, the header value is a basic auth and uh, the uh, key is authorization so this particular whatever we are sending the username and password which has been encoded into base64 and jmeter is converting that into automatically and it is uh, sending in the uh, in the form of the request headers so this is not secured actually this is one of the simplest uh, way of uh, restricting the user basically uh, this one if you have the value you can easily decode using online tools so this is a simple base64 encode and decode uh, uh, where you will be separated the username and password using the colon and it will convert into base64 which you can easily decode using the online tools so this is not very uh, safe method as such but uh, it's one of the technique where you can restrict the uh, access so by leveraging the authorization manager you will be able to uh, pass along your username and credentials uh, for the subsequent requests so that's the guys on my side. Uh, if you have a time, please uh, go to my next tutorial. I have a tutorial on Load Runner. Uh, and if you have any questions, please join uh, my community, QA Insights community, community.qainsights.com. And please stay safe. Uh, have a good day. Thank you.